fugitive Seattle real estate magnate Michael R. Master and his wife, Linda, were arrested Wednesday in France after 16 months on the lam. Details were not immediately available, but the U.S. Attorney's Office in Seattle confirmed the arrests in a statement Wednesday afternoon. The office also unsealed a criminal complaint filed against the Masters in August 2011, charging them with six counts of bankruptcy fraud. James Frisch, Michael Master Seattle attorney, said he learned of the arrests Wednesday morning. The couple are in the custody of French authorities, he said. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Frisch said neither he nor members of Master's family have spoken with Master since his arrest. When the Master Seattle lawyer, Michael Gossettler, said he had not spoken with her. Another attorney with knowledge of the case said the Masters were arrested at Lake Onsi, in the French Alps. An FBI spokeswoman said she could not confirm that. The Masters were arrested by French police at the request of the FBI's legal attaché office in Paris, she said. Frush said he doesn't know whether Master will fight extradition. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. He also said there are some real issues of proof with the factual allegations underlying the bankruptcy fraud charges, and he suspects more serious charges are in the works. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg, Frush said. The Masters disappeared in June 2011, days after the judge in Michael Masters' massive bankruptcy case ordered the couple to turn over to giant diamond rings value at $1.4 million. They officially became fugitives a month later when warrants were signed for their arrest. But those warrants were for contempt of thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Court, a civil violation, and experts said it would be difficult to extradite the masters without a criminal charge. Warrant for arrest documents unsealed Wednesday indicate there also has been a warrant for their arrest for more than a year on the bankruptcy fraud charge. The complaint alleges that, after entering bankruptcy, the masters failed to disclose a bank account to the court then used the account over the next eight months to write checks for about $285,000 in personal expenses. They also didn't disclose the account on several thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Occasions under oath or penalty of perjury, the complaint says. Their intent was to defraud creditors who were rightfully entitled to the money, it adds. The Masters opened the account in the name of a limited liability corporation and were signatories to it, the complaint says. Checks were written for American Express payments, loan payments on the couple's Bentley and Rolls Royce, the purchase of $100,000 in gold, and purchases from department stores, including Macy's, Barney's and Nordstrom, according to the complaint. Michael Master also used the account to write checks to his thank you for trying verbose this recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Wife totaling about $18,000, the complaint says. Frush, Master's lawyer, questioned whether the corporation that was the legal owner of the bank account was an asset to which creditors were entitled. This all comes down to very technical bankruptcy arguments, he said. The bankruptcy judge ruled in March 2010 that the creditors were the corporation's rightful owners. But Frush said that was the master's first indication they shouldn't be writing checks from the account, and by then most of the money had already been spent. Michael Master, now 87, was thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A long-time and prolific real estate developer and lender whose website alluded to his billion-dollar career. But his highly leveraged empire fell apart when the market tanked. Three lenders pushed Master into bankruptcy in 2009. The most recent estimate of his debt to unsecured creditors is $250 million, and court-appointed trustee James Rigby has said those creditors will be lucky to get back more than a few pennies on the dollar. Federal authorities began a criminal investigation of Master nearly three years ago. Rigby said Wednesday he was pleased to learn of thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The arrests. He has maintained for years that Master has hidden assets that should go to his creditors, allegations Frisch has denied. This is a good day for the bankruptcy system, and this is a good day for the criminal justice system, Rigby said. Now Mr. Master can come back to Seattle and explain to his friends and 